Hi, this is a review for the third slot, that is day two slot one for the CET examination. So people have come out, again, there are different reviews for different people. Some people find it tough, some people find it okay, so it's very different. So I'll stick to my stand of 140 as a cutoff, uh, around 140, 145, let's say 140. Now, okay, coming to the details of the paper, okay, as um, in the first and second slot, the verbal was a little lengthy, but easy in a sense like uh, new questions so people who are familiar with the new questions were gone were understood the first slot and understood that the questions were new were able to solve it fast but other it was easy only thing it took time to read the instructions etc abstract was uh, i would say easy but a little lengthy because there are more number of elements in every question and that took a little extra time to solve so that means perfectly all right abstract could be solved easy but yes, it would take extra time because of more number of elements per question. Coming to the DI and the uh, mathematics section. DI again, three sets, one case set, two DI questions. One DI set was very simple, it seems. One was a little lengthy because the number of questions was a little lengthy. And the case set was also okay, but time consuming. Apart from that, uh, there was a normal number series questions, uh, quadratic comparison, normal comparisons, bottomless type questions, they're always simple. So overall quant looked on the easier side. Even the normal quant was okay. I mean, it was not very tough as such. The problem came in the logic section where people found it tough. In a sense like, there were quite a few sets in puzzles which were quite, you know, lengthy. So people who were smart enough from yesterday's, you know, review and skip the puzzles and focus on the other questions would have benefited. There were two or three puzzles which are doable. I'm not saying no, not doable. They were doable, people have done. But yes, it made sense to leave that and focus on other questions because the puzzles were a little time consuming. As far as coming to the other parts of uh, the puzzle, there was an input output set and all the other normal sets which normally came. So the non puzzle sets were also quite simple and so, simple when I'm saying simple, it is comparative. Overall, as I said, it would be a shade, maybe a little difficult as compared to last year. Cutoff could go to 140 to 145 is what the game is. I mean, the next slot, the fourth slot, uh, paper could be tougher, paper could be easier, we still don't know. But looking at the way the paper pattern has been, it is similar in the first three slots. So unlikely that the fourth slot will be similar. So people going to the fourth slot would recommend that means keep puzzles for the end or don't attempt those puzzles which takes time. Okay, understand that verbal and visuals do take a little time, but they're easy. And other questions apart from puzzles, both in the con section and the logic section are simple. One DI set could be tough. So look at that and then plan your paper accordingly and go about solving the questions. All the best. Thank you.